All right, we're running. This is part three of uh, the adding using Joe saw water to uh, to bubble uh, Joe saw water into a gas and use it as a fuel. And uh, what I seen this morning I was kind of up all last night, and this is kind of going through my mind. And uh, was using uh, the water itself and to directly add it to the system. You got your Joe cell gas going into here, which goes in between your GP2 and uh, comes in here and it creates your level 3 burn. But at the same time, say you got the pipe warmed up and uh, maybe this might be, you have this design for, uh, for a water heater and all of a sudden you get 20 or 30 people that turn up. They all need showers, well, you're going to need lots of hot water. Well, that's not going to be a problem because all you do is kick in, to, kick in your your water injection system here. So your drill, drill cell water comes out of here and uh, into your steamer. So your steamer is actually the tuner and it replaces the soapstone tuner. You might want some graphite or something like that uh, to help it slide. and. Uh, Graphite should be able to handle the intense heats. So anyway, you uh, use the Joe cell water just to more or less keep it going. But if, if you've got a high demand, all of a sudden in your where you need lots of hot water, so you might need a couple hundred gallons of hot water. And what do you do? Well, you just turn on the switch. And now you're converting Joe cell water into a, a Joe cell steam. So you got supercharged steam in here which is going to give you a booster, right? Yeah, a booster effect and uh, so, so those 20 people will be able to take a shower or whatever. Anyway, you're able to meet the need and you know, you might have a camp situation or something like that and you're able to uh, when the need arises, you, you're able to convert your, your hot water heater or steamer or whatever to, uh, to generate maybe maybe 300% uh, yield. And uh, this would work well too, you know, if you're using hot water for, for heating and uh, where you could have actually uh, plug-in heat. If you've got a big, uh, if you've got a high demand uh, water system where uh, you could have, say, half a dozen uh, uh, plug-ins where people could actually extract the hot water, bring it into their tent, and and uh, to heat their tent or whatever or homes. Then you could have the return coming back in. You'll be able to keep up with the uh, demand, and uh, it's, it'd be like having a bunch of hot water radiators hooked up. And this is what I saw this morning. Uh, as a type of booster, uh, may not the design may may change a bit, but that's your basic setup. And so you're you're you got your system on on low, and when you need it, you can always just crank it up, and you're could be going from uh, an orange heat up to to white hot heat. And uh, and something else that I've seen too. I don't know the purpose for it yet. Sometimes I see things in advance. And uh, uh, was another steamer here, like a, like a donut, onto a JP1. I didn't I didn't see a double pipe system being used, just where uh, the vapor was fed in, gas and fuel vapor was fed in this way. And uh, but I saw a uh, uh, the water being injected in here to uh, create steam where it was injected uh, external to the pipe or maybe just a little bit in. But I, uh, uh, what I saw this morning is that, that, it's, that it generated a, uh, a white hot heat and uh, you're probably talking about 2,500, 3,000 degrees or maybe even more. It could, have, it could have even been into the plasma state but it was hot and, and you had uh, It'd be like looking at the space shuttle taking off. That's what I seen this morning. Just a big white uh, exhaust.
exhaust plume here. And, uh, so, you know, if you had a big tent, uh, say for emergency purpose, you got a tent that could handle a couple hundred people. Now, if you had to heat it up in a hurry, this would work. And then just a matter of uh, putting a big exhaust pipe around this, and uh, you would generate uh, probably a thousand cubic feet per minute, or maybe even up as high as maybe uh, uh, five thousand cubic feet per minute of. Uh, of uh, superheated air. So you know, we're talking here about you know lots of feet and, and coming from a very small pipe. And uh, so what well, what it basically amounts to that the joke pipe would be the igniter. It, it it'd be like the pilot. It'd be on pilot. And if you ever needed an, an intense amount of superheated air for for space heating. You would have it here. You just kick that on. So there, there's many different applications, and uh, what I would like to do is, is be able to catalog all this. It's, it's uh, today I was able to upload uh, to the file site on the under Joe underscore pipe underscore tech. If you go there and go to the files, you can see the five different uh, uh, Joe pipes upgrades from the uh, JP1 all the way up to, G to the JP5. And uh, so this, this will probably be, come under uh, like a JPS or a JP steamer. And uh, there, there's another rate that, I, that I've seen too, but I won't get into it at this point, where I saw the uh, Joe Pipe 1, just the basic Joe Pipe, and I've uh, seen a uh, suspended uh, titanium pipe that was suspended on the, uh, if you had your pipe in here, it was suspended on a, on a, on, on a washer system that had graphite around to, so it wouldn't take away, uh, you know, buffer the sound of the pipe, and take away from the frequency. And then I saw uh, the other end of the suspended pipe uh, fit it into this into the steamer and uh, it was quite impressive so that's going to have to be uh, sometime later I'll get it drawn up to work out the bugs and then I can actually do a do a talk on it to bring it out and uh, anyway the possibilities of uh, converting Joe cell water into a Joe cell gas or using Joe cell water in the charge or the in-charge state is is uh, is there? And it's just a matter of uh, you guys out there maybe uh, taking the Joe cell and making the water and, and making the, the coil system and charge it, and uh, just making a simple uh, uh, JP1 just to see how it's going to burn. It's but the uh, temperatures are are going to be up there and. Uh, but the bottom line of all this is to be able to, to uh, perfect the fuel state and, and in perfecting this fuel state to be able to develop as much hot water, as much space heating or steam for cooking or, or plug-in hot water heating. Once you set it up, your, your cost would be minimal. And uh, we're talking maybe uh, a dime to the dollar. So. With all this recession that we're going into, uh, something needs to be done. So, this is just uh, my contribution that uh, God has put in my heart for for those who uh, would take this and, and and to build something that would go out to to help a lot of people. And uh, the main thing is, the times coming up, is you know, to stay warm, being able to cook, uh, having hot water. It uh, does go a long way to to uh, keeping a healthy profile. Okay, this ends this three-part series, and uh, get this up a little bit right away.